Word of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Today we celebrate Cheese Fair, the day and also known as Sunday of Forgiveness. Uh, we also commemorate the banishment of Adam from the Garden of Eden. Uh, Eden. So there's a lot of themes going on in today's liturgical calendar. The main and first post is the banishment of Adam from the Garden of Eden. Today we The Church Fathers has put this here today, the day before we begin uh, the great and holy 40-day fast, as kind of a symbolic reminder of of where we are as human beings and where we came from. After being created by God to live in, in the garden in perfect communion with Him, with our Creator, and was given one obedience, one obedience, not to uh, eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge, by the beguilement of the serpent, the devil, um, Mary, I'm sorry, Eve took the bite of this fruit and convinced her husband likewise to do it. And we see that there is a fall from heaven. And so from that time on, there's this separation from man and God. And we've inherited a couple of qualities because of that fall. First and foremost is the fact that now we perish, our bodies expire, we die. And that even more uh, worse, because death is kind of a mercy given to us by God, more worse is that we now have this inclination of sin. And so death stops us from sinning, at least in the body, right? And so this is why it's a mercy from God. So we inherited this inclination, this this curse, as someone would call it, um, from Adam. And the fathers want us to put this right here the day before right before the fast, in order for us to reflect on this whole account, this uh, account of what happened uh, to our ancient foreparents, and why we got us into this situation. And there is for two reasons, and they both go along with the themes of the liturgical day. One is that of, uh, of obedience and of controlling our appetites. Here we like to think of it in mainly a a physical need to control what we eat, and certainly uh, this plays a role in going into our 40-day fast as a reminder that our ancient forefather, Adam, he broke a fast that God gave him. And so we're supposed to reflect upon that, reflect upon are we able to overcome uh, this this, uh, fallenness that we have and do better. Can we now refrain from the things that we're told we're not supposed to eat. That's it on a physical level, but on a spiritual level, you know, Adam, it was the tree of knowledge that Adam ate from. It wasn't just food uh, to satisfy his stomach. He wanted something. He wanted some knowledge. He wanted to be uh, not only like God, but he wanted to be God. And many of us do that. Many of us want to know the depths and the mysteries of the divine. We want to know intimately and be in control of our lives and the control of the world. In some ways, we may not admit this, but it's true. All of us like to be our own God. And so Adam was trying to circumvent the hard spiritual work and labor of being closer to God, even though he was so much closer than you and I could ever be, by eating of this fruit, and he was tempted by the devil. And so we have to think of this fast also in a spiritual level, that where are we with God Do I know my order to Him as my Creator? Am I trying to circumvent the spiritual world to get something in control of this life that we live and be more powerful, be more knowledgeable? Am I wanting to know the the mysteries of Christ and the church without the hard labors of prayer and fasting? This is what happened to Adam, no doubt. And the other theme that got us into this is not just the appetite, but also what happened in our relationship with God and between man and woman at this event. We know that the Eve was seduced to eat this, and she likewise tempted her husband, and he fell for it. And then the, once he, they realized of what they did, they hid from God in the Garden of Eden. And now they have this separation between man and God, this And our loving God understands that we make mistakes. 
What got us to this fall was not the fact that Adam alone could not control his appetite, could not control being tempted by his wife. What got us this is that he hid it from God. He tried to hide from God. He tried to hide his spiritual nature and what had happened. He never asked God's forgiveness. He never, Eve never asked Adam's forgiveness. And Adam never defended Eve. So now we have a rupture in between man and woman, in a sense, and between humanity and God at this taking of this bite. And it's a spiritual malady of pride and this gardening of our hearts, trying to hide it from the one person we can't hide it from. And so this is why we today celebrate Forgiveness Sunday. This is why we hear the, par- or the gospel today from the book of Matthew, from the gospel of Matthew about coming off the tales of uh, Christ preaching the Beatitudes on the mountain, about telling us how to pray the Lord's Prayer and saying, now if you do not forgive people, I will not forgive you. This is why we have this theme today. And so we celebrate this forgiveness Sunday. We will do so later on today after our meal as a community and offer our forgiveness to each other. And so when we go into the 40-day fast and into Holy Week, we have to reflect on this day that the church fathers appointed the day before and reflect what they're trying to get us to understand going in to this whole ordeal that we make a big fuss out of, which it's, it should be a big fuss, about changing our lives for God for a mere 40 days. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to be obedient, obedient to the church, obedient to God, even in the small things of watching what we eat. But we're also supposed to come back into reconciliation with God something that Christ has paved the way for. And so we have to repent and ask for forgiveness. And just as important, forgive those who have hurt us and wronged us, who may not even know that we're upset with them. And this will change this cosmic fall that happened so long ago that is where we have inherited this inclination to sin and this weakness of body. So let us have a goal going forward into this fast to and ask God that He give us strength to be obedient, and that gives us strength to forgive, and to repent, and to pray, so that we may have a a worthy resurrection of our Lord. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.